On behalf of myself, Philip Hudson, and the other team council members, we would like to thank Tamarack's mayors and commissioners. Personally, I had the pleasure of speaking with Mayor Gomez, and I learned that during the pandemic, she had to attend a lot more meetings than usual to ensure the safety of the citizens, as well as in the near future, she plans on investing in the city's infrastructure and our personal businesses. During the meeting with Commissioner Fisherman, I learned numerous things about the job of commissioner and her opinion on certain issues. For one, I learned that a commissioner can pass laws in their city in order to voice for the people in their area. I also asked a few questions, one of them regarding the mandatory mask policy. And Ms. Fisher responded stating that people should continue to wear masks or face coverings until the CDC says it's safe to do otherwise, which I fully agree with. Hi, my name is Malaysia. Today, I had the pleasure of talking with City Commissioner Deborah Placco. During this virtual meeting, I was able to learn a lot about events that occur behind the scenes that keep the city up and running. One such event is the creation of a yearly city budget, a process that occurs over numerous months as many aspects are taken into account, such as the water and tax rate, new construction, and new equipment. For the year 2021, the yearly budget has been calculated to be $184 million. Overall, I am glad to have had this opportunity to learn more about my city. During the meeting with Mayor Gomez, I've learned numerous things, which are she has been used to Facebook now because of the pandemic. She misses going to hug people and meet new people every day and she has lots of plans in store for Tamarack. One of the questions I asked her was, how do you decide where to put new buildings? And it all depends on constructors and the vote of the people. And there will be new buildings in 2021 for Tamarack. Hello everyone, and my name is Fira Lanos, and I am a proud member of the Tamarack Teen Council. This week I participated in the team's meeting with Commissioner Mike Gillum, and I got to learn more about Tamarack City Government. Uh, so Tamarack actually has a council manager system of local government, which means we have our city council alongside with our city's mayor. Uh, the council is a legislative body where its members are the community's decision makers. So as I mentioned before, Mike Gillum was one of the presenting commissioners in my meeting, and one of his responsibilities as a commissioner in our city is to aid in Tamarack's financial success. Um, furthermore, something new and interesting that I found out during this meeting was that in order for a proposal by one of the commissioners to be considered law, it actually has to pass on two readings during the council's meetings. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Ivan Cadet, and something that I learned today was how much the mayor really does for the city. I learned a lot about the things that the mayor has already done, such as funding projects for buildings and volunteering her own time at charities. She also calls the shots on what everything should look like overall. The job of the mayor is very busy and she does her job very well. Thank you. At the meeting with Commissioner Gillum, I learned that he is District's two commissioner for the city of Tamarack. In his position, he deals with the financial responsibility of the city. In addition to being in his position, he fires and hires two people, which is the city's attorney and the city's manager. One thing I learned about the city of Tamarack that I did not know is that the city of Tamarack has their own lobbyists. I didn't even know that a city could have their own lobbyists. Hello, my name is Kaylee Jackson, and a few days ago, I had a meeting with Tamarack Mayor, along with one of my fellow peers about how Tamarack has ensured the safety of its citizens during the COVID crisis. And one way this, the city has done that is by mandating um, public spaces in their shutdowns and guidelines, and also with proposing ideas in order to, to ensure the peace of mind of citizens and assuring them that public spaces are clean. Hello, my name is Giovanni Antonio, and today I had a meeting with Commissioner Fishman of District 3 in Tamarack, Florida, as well as Ms. 
Dania Maldonado, and Salma Francois. Today, we had a discussion about redistricting, which I learned is based off the census that occurs every 10 years across the nation. And we also learned about the students that are suffering from learning disabilities and the teachers and parents that are impacted during this time while schools are currently reopening in Tamarack. We also learned about immigration and DACA as they affect the population in Tamarack and can also affect the process of redistricting. I had a great time discussing these topics with Commissioner Fishman, as well as Salma Francois and Miss Dania Maldonado, and I hope that I can do it again someday. Thank you.